Hi everyone, welcome to video number six in this mini series exploring why property investing works and how it can increase your net worth. And what I've understood so far is that you can buy an asset and get paid twice. We measure that increase of payment to our net worth by calculating the return on investment as a percentage. And we got to the point in the previous video where we said if we purchased a £100,000 house and waited five years, we could apply the principle of leverage again, we could refinance and get some of the original money that we put into the deal five years previously back out, which meant we left £10,000 in the deal. We had a return of £5,400 and a return on investment of 54%. But the, the problem we sort of got to was that we had to wait five years. The question is, can we do it any quicker? And the answer to that is, we can, but it's going to need a slight change of thinking. Remember our three houses we started at the beginning, we said that this was a poorly kept house, this was an average house that fine, rent from day one, and these were beautiful houses, everything had already been done for them. Well, how about instead of buying the average house, how about we have a closer look at the poorer house. And let's say we buy this house for £80,000. So now the, uh, the, the, the £80,000 house. So here we are then. We have a house. And we're going to agree this rundown house, we're going to buy it for £80,000. And we're going to go to a lender and I use that phrase advisedly, it might not be a mortgage, but a lender, and we say, we'd like to borrow an £80,000 house, it's a bit scruffy, a little bit unloved, needs some TLC, can we buy this house for £80,000 using 75% a 75 loan to value mortgage or loan? And they say, not a problem. So long as you can put in 25%, in this case, £20,000. This is going to be our deposit, this is going to be our loan, up at loan, and this is going to be £60,000. Now, your investment is £20,000, but you can't rent it out straight away because it's run down. So you're going to have to add to your investment. So you're going to buy it for £20,000. You're going to use a £60,000 loan, but you're going to have to put some more money in. You're going to have to do a refurbishment. And let's say this is also £20,000. So this is your refurb. But now with that refurb done, it's now going to be worth not £80,000, not even the £100,000, it's going to be worth the £120,000 because everything's done to it. So now you have an, also have an uplift of £20,000. Meaning your house is now worth £120,000. Now you can go to your bank, just like we did before. And we said, we've got this house, we've held it for six months. That's a, that's a, a guideline. You can't refinance a property, generally speaking, within six months. So six months later, you do the refurb, no money coming in during that period of time, but you can go to bank number two and say, hi, we've got this house worth 120,000 pounds. It's absolutely beautiful. We've done everything to it. It's brand spanking new. Can we take a 75% loan, please? And they'll say, yes. And really, I'm just going to imitate the exact same formula we've done here. But before we jump into that, we need to remember that we have also put in £20,000 here for the deposit and we have borrowed £60,000 for the loan. So we are all in by this point. We have bought, we have spent £40,000. It's really important we just hold on to that fact. 
we have invested at this point £40,000. There's no return because it's just been done up, so we can't work out our return on investment at this stage. Now we say, bank, can we do a 75 cent interest only mortgage? Yes, it's going to cost you 2%. You need an equity of £30,000. Can you do that? We'll say, yeah, well, you know what? We've got £40,000. We were going to leave that in the deal, or we can all leave all the uplift in plus £20,000 back deposit. Doesn't matter which way you dice it. Yes, we've got, we spent £40,000, we've got £30,000 in it. Sure, brilliant. That means we can now lend to you, Mr. Harrison, we can lend £90,000 from loan two. And this is what it looks like Bank two. I'm going to call it bank two, gives you £90,000. Comes into you. Bank one says, hang on a second, you owe us £60,000. You can't have two mortgages on one property. Can we have £60,000, please? Well, not a problem. You're holding 90. Yeah, not a problem, bank one. Thank you for helping us out to buy it. Here is £60,000 for you. Bank one leaves. Thank you so much. Lovely doing business with you. You know we, you know where we are. If you need us in the future, well, you've had ninety thousand pounds from bank two. You've given sixty thousand pounds to bank number one, which means, of course, you are now left with the balance. You are left holding thirty thousand pounds. It is a loan. But think about it. You put in forty thousand pounds to buy it, didn't you? £20,000 for the loan, £20,000 for the refurb, and now they've just been given £30,000. Well, the question is then, how much of your original £40,000 is still in that house? And the answer is, your investment here is £10,000. Because your £90,000 loan is still a 75% mortgage, Interest only at 2%, so you know that your, your profit is going to be £5,400. Which then means, of course, that your return on investment is still 54%. And here's the beautiful thing. You haven't had to wait five years. The wait from here to here, we are saying is six months. And this is the principle or the concept of add, adding value. It doesn't actually increase your investment per se, it just gets you the higher investment straight away. Question then is, if you've now got £30,000, what might you go and do with that? Might you put it down £20,000 for another deposit on another similar house? Quite likely. So this is a principle of adding value. And the next one, we'd like to see how we can actually increase the return on investment further. I'll cover that in the next video.